Linda, I'm trying to remember why it was we made this film. I remember we just had finished the short films we'd done on Joe as a spirit medium and healer. And you had been watching them build the beginnings of this tremendous cremation that they, that, that the government said they had to go and have before the great island-wide ceremony, Ekadasa Rudra. And you came back and you said, Tim, you really ought to go down to the Waran and see what they're building down there. It's pretty spectacular. And I remember saying, Linda, do we really want to get involved with that? I mean, suppose it's good. that is not the way it happened. Well, you committed yourself from the moment you first saw those preparations. You came no, I back... just came back enthusiastic. But I, but I didn't. I wasn't forcing you into making a film or suggesting that we should. You I... didn't force me, but you suggested it was too good an opportunity to miss. I did say and it if was I spectacular. Was, if I was prepared to do a bit of work... But isn't that the way it is with all Balinese ritual? People get totally wrapped up in it. It was the cooperative effort that was going on that, well, that really attracted you. You came back and you said, it's amazing what these people are putting together. It was the fact that people were organizing themselves in such a fashion to put on this ritual that really attracted you. Most of the people who died in this village were buried because their relatives didn't have money to cremate them. But under pressure to cremate everyone before a huge island-wide ceremony, these villagers decided to pool their resources and hold this group cremation for all their dead relatives. Slave. We showed participants videotapes of our footage so they'd get the pleasure of seeing themselves and so we could find out what they had to say about the images. I edited bits of the conversations that people had with Linda Connor as they watched the videos. And from these, we constructed a commentary. First we showed our videos to Juro Tapakan and her family, because Juro is Linda's closest Balinese friend. Juro is a village healer. Effigies are made of the dead about a week before the cremation.
Ida Bagus is another person we showed our videos. He's from a coastal village and from a Brahmana family, the traditional priests and scholars of Bali. Ida Bagus and his wife bring the shrouds he made to wrap the effigies of Jero's husband and five of her husband's relatives from the northern town of Bulaleng. <laughs> Ini pemulung ni ni kam ini aman ni. Jadi kenapa malu ada ni nak kena madar.